This video tutorial will cover the following. What is a tarot? How to get it? How to use it? Integrations with Microsoft Word and Google Docs. Common issues and how to fix them and where to get help. What is Zotero? Zotero is a citation manager that you can download for free. It helps you quickly and easily save all of your items to create citations, and it helps you keep all of your citations organized. This is an excellent tool for any student. To get Zotero, go to www.zotero.org. Click on the download link, and Zotero will automatically detect what operating system you're using, as well as which browser you are using. The first download is for the software. The second download will add an extension or add-on to your browser that makes adding content to Zotero easy and quick. Quick note, the browser connector currently works with Google Chrome, Firefox, and Edge, formerly Internet Explorer. It does not currently work with Safari. Once you download the software and connector, it's time to get started using Zotero. Now that you have Zotero and the connector downloaded, let's go over the features and how to use it. When you first download Zotero, your library will be empty. The main or default folder is the My Library folder. You can create additional folders to suit your needs. Some examples include folders for a class or for a specific research topic. To create a folder, click on the folder icon with the green plus sign and name your folder. You can create a free online account with Zotero to access and save materials from any computer that has an internet connection. To create the free account, go to Zotero.org, click on Login, and register for a free account. Once you do that, you can sync your online account with your computer software and add information from anywhere. To sync your account, open Zotero on your computer. On the Mac, go to Zotero, then Preferences, and then select the Sync tab. On a PC, look under Edit and then Preferences. Items with a blue dot indicate that a PDF is included. If you click on it, it will open the PDF. You can save all sorts of items, including articles from databases, websites, books, and more. The quickest and easiest way to save to Zotero is to use a Zotero connector that was added to your browser. Make sure your Zotero software is open. Otherwise, you will get a message letting you know to open the software. The connector will initially show up as a big gray letter Z. Click on it to activate it. Once you do that, your icon will change. It will show up as a folder icon or a paper icon. If you are viewing a list of results in a database, for example, you will see a folder icon. If you are viewing one article, it will appear as a paper icon. Let's look at some examples. Navigate to a database. In this example, we will be using Academic Search Premier. Search for some articles. When your list of articles is on the screen, you should see a folder icon at the top. When you click on it, a list with all of the articles on the page will pop up. Select which articles you want to save to Zotero and then click OK. You will see the article titles as they are being saved. It will automatically save to your default folder. You can move your information to another folder by dragging and dropping into another folder. Now let's look at a single article. Now that we're looking at a single article, you'll notice that the icon has changed from a folder to a paper icon. 
click on the paper icon to automatically save this article. You can go back to your Zotero and see all of the articles you've saved so far. Now that you have some items saved in Zotero, it's time to start creating references and citations. Zotero can help you create both in-text citations and reference list citations. There are two ways of doing that. The first is to create a list from Zotero. To create a citation list using Zotero, select the items you want to use to create the reference list. Once selected, right-click those items and select Create Bibliography from Items. You will be asked which citation style you want to use. In this example, we will use APA. From the output mode, make sure bibliography is selected. For the output method, make sure copy to clipboard is selected and then click OK. That creates a copy of your reference list in APA using the items you selected. Open a Word or Google Doc and paste your selection. You have now created a references list in APA style. Use Microsoft Word or Google Docs to insert in-text citations and create a reference list. Word and Google Docs should automatically add Zotero as a tab option when you download the software. Let's start with the Word document. Open a Word document. As soon as you open it, add a second blank page as your references page. Label it References, or for other citation styles, you may use Works Cited or Reference Decided. Once you do that, go back up to your first page and begin typing. When you are ready to insert an in-text citation, go to the Zotero tab and you will see two options. Add Edit Citation and Add Edit Bibliography. The first is used to insert an in-text citation. The second is to add a reference into the reference list. Let's insert an in-text citation. The first time you do this in a new document, it'll ask you which citation style you are using. In this example, we will use APA. Select your style and leave everything else as is and select OK. Again, make sure Zotero is open or this will not work. A red bar will pop up asking you to find which item you want to reference. Type in the title or author to find the article or item. Select the item you want to add and then hit enter or return on your keyboard. You will see an in-text citation has been added. Next, let's add the reference for that item to the reference page we created earlier. Scroll down to that page and make sure your cursor is on the left column. This time, click on Add Edit Bibliography. It should automatically add the reference for the item you cited in your text. Once you add an in-text citation and a reference item once, it will automatically add future references to the references page when you add an in-text citation. Let's try that one more time to demonstrate that. Go to the Zotero tab and add an in-text citation. You will see the reference for the item you added is now automatically in the references list. It also makes sure that all of your references are in alphabetical order. This works exactly the same way in Google Docs. It just looks a bit different. Let's do a quick Google Docs example. In Google Docs, do the same thing you did in Word and make sure to have two pages. The second page should be a references page. To add your citation, click the Zotero tab, select Add Edit Citation, Select your citation style and select your article. Now scroll down to the references page and add the reference. So you're going to go to Zotero again, click on Add Edit Bibliography, and your reference will be added. 
Note, Zotero is a time saver, but it's not perfect. Zotero creates citations based on the information it is given. If, for example, the information it gets from a database shows a title in all capital letters, it will create a citation in all capital letters. If you are using APA style, for example, that would be incorrect formatting for APA. Before you submit any assignments, make sure the formatting is correct. It is still important for you to know and recognize what a correct citation looks like in your preferred citation style. What are some common issues or questions about Zotero? One question is, I don't see Zotero in my Word or Google Docs. What do I do? If you don't see it, try closing all of your Microsoft applications and your Google applications and reopen. That should refresh them. If that still doesn't work, re-download Zotero. Another common problem is the Chrome browser will not allow the add-on to be added. If you are logged in to your university email via Gmail, it may be blocking you from adding the connector to your browser. Log out of your school email and log into a regular Gmail. Then try to download again. Need some additional help? Feel free to contact one of the librarians for Zotero help.